But of course, we cannot do this without the support of Cambodian businesses. So Definitely. it's very important that we continue to maintain our cooperation, maintain our friendship, maintain our relations with all the stakeholders in Cambodia, not only the Ministry of Commerce, but also the other ministries, and importantly, the business community of Cambodia. And this is why this is not only an award for the Embassy of Indonesia, but this is also an award for all of our partners in Cambodia. Good morning, uh, Mr. Ambassador. Morning. And uh, thank you so much, sir, for uh, granting us uh, the opportunity for your interview here uh, in the uh, Trade Expo Indonesia, sir, yes. the, the 39th uh, yes. session, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, just now you were on the podium and yes. you won the uh, Prima Dua Award, sir, yes. which is um, a very high award uh, yes. presented by uh, yes. the Ministry of uh, Trade, yes. sir. Yes. So, uh, first of all, sir, how do you feel about the award? And, uh, you know, uh, what, what, what does the award mean to you, sir, let's yeah. say? I think um, the Prima Duta Award is given to um, Indonesian companies as well as Indonesian institutions that has provided support for exports of Indonesia abroad. Mm. So how I feel about it is a recognition of the efforts that have been carried out by the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Phnom Penh to support the export of Indonesian products to Cambodia. Yes, sir. Um, at the same time, I also want to inform you that not only the embassy is receiving an award this year, there's also a Cambodian company uh, mm. called Dynamic Argon that, is also, that has also received a Prima Duta Award for best importers of Indonesian products to Cambodia. So with this, I think hopefully we'll, have, we'll see more Indonesian products um, being able to be sold in Cambodia and more, in, more Cambodian consumers to be able to enjoy good quality Indonesian yes. products, yeah. Yes, but if I may go a bit, what do you mean by best importer, sir? On what criteria, if you can give like a general idea, sir? Yes, thank you very much. So, with regards to this, there are various um, uh, factors, determinants that has allowed the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia and Phnom Penh to receive this award. Yes. One of them is the, uh, the, the, act, the kind of activities that the Embassy has developed. As you know, this year, we have held a health fest um, in Sihanoukville, we've done a um, ASEAN Bazaar at the Embassy. We've done Susday Indonesia yes, sir. Um, with uh, more than 100 booths. And um, also, we've also carried out this particular We At the Trade Expo Indonesia here, uh, with you, there are more than 30 um, Cambodian um, business people that yes, have joined us in trying to match up with, with, with um, other businesses here. So I think what it is is that there are a number of activities that we are carrying out, not only once a year, but various types of activities and various channels that we are doing. And also later on at the end of the year, we're yes, also sir. going to be participating in the, I think it's the the Cambodia Import-Export mm. Exhibition as well. It's organized by the Ministry of Commerce in Cambodia in Phnom Penh. So, you know, a lot of these things that we are doing, I think this is why we are getting that recognition from the Indonesian government. So not all the ambassadors get the recognition, sir. No. Only, only a select few, sir. Yes. yes sir. Uh, I think in total, um, Indonesia has more than 140 missions abroad. And I think uh, we're very privileged to be yes, um, not only one of the five, but we're actually the top one to receive the award in 2024. So like I said, you know, not only yes, among the five that has received today, but we are actually the one that received the top highest mark um, um, in, uh, when, when it comes to the, the, the calculations made by the Ministry of Trade. So we're very proud of it. But of course, we cannot do this without the support of Cambodian businesses. So Definitely. it's very important that we continue to maintain our cooperation, maintain our friendship, maintain our relations with all the stakeholders in Cambodia, not only the Ministry of Commerce, but also the other ministries and importantly, the business community of Cambodia. And this is why this is not only an award for the Embassy of Indonesia, but this is also an award for all of our partners in Cambodia, the businesses that have carried out imports of Indonesian products and also maybe hopefully in the future exports of Cambodian products to Indonesia. Yes, sir. So since you take office uh, in Cambodia, so how do you view the trade relation between Indonesia and Cambodia? And do you think there are still a lot of challenges going on, sir? Um, of course, you know, there are opportunities and there are challenges. Yes, With the opportunities, we're trying to magnify it. Uh, one of the opportunities is the fact that uh, Cam Indonesian products are being received very well by Cambodian consumers, indicating that there is a similarity in taste yeah, yeah. and all that. So I think this is the opportunity. The challenges, of course, is with regards to logistics. 
with regards to logistics, with regards to particularly logistics in that sense, and also exposure of Indonesian brands. So I think um, Cambodian consumers are more familiar with brands from some other countries. Um, we are trying to promote Indonesian brands so that they are more familiar with it. So promotion of Indonesian brands and also how to overcome the high cost of sending Indonesian products to Cambodia or later on Definitely. Cambodian products in Indonesia. Uh, I think, but I think this is a volume matter of volumes, so scale volume to scale. But the more the more trade we do, mm -hmm. the price of logistics will we go down. Will go down. So this is our really economic hope, of yes. scale. Sir. Economic of scales, yes, and, and so this is what we hope. So um, uh, Trade Expo Indonesia has been organized every year for 39 years, including during COVID. We actually organize it, but of course online. And in all those years, Cambodia has been all Cambodian businesses have been good participants in this particular activity. And over the years, there have been a lot of businesses that have developed cooperation, signed MOUs, and meet new partners here in Indonesia. So uh, in the future, we still want more Cambodians to come and visit Indonesia. And Trade Expo Indonesia is usually a best way to visit Indonesia for the first time and meet partners and meet potential people that they can actually work together with. So this is what we want to do. Not only uh, the exposition, we also have business matching. And also on Friday, this Friday, we're also doing a forum, not only a forum related to trade, but also a forum related to investment. So how do we actually, two countries work, not only on trade, but also investment, be it investment from Indonesia to Cambodia, or even investment from Cambodia into Indonesia. So I think it's more than just trade, it's also investment. Yeah. How many countries participate in this expo, or how many booths, how many stocks yeah. in yeah. the production? Yes. So the, the exposition is mainly an exposition of Indonesian export. So the booths um, number more than 1,400, right? And um, of course, there are various different type of businesses. But this year, three big categories, I think food and beverage, um, agriculture, and the other one, I think you're not mistaken, is clothing and furniture. So those big three things are being uh, being offered to consumers from abroad. Uh, the people coming in from outside of, 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 of Indonesia, they're quite massive. So there are a lot of visitors in Indonesia, but also a lot, a lot, a lot of visitors from other countries. For example, from India, there are 400 Indians uh, businesses who are coming here. From Cambodia, we have slightly more than 30 uh, businesses coming here as well. So there's a lot of people coming here and trying to learn more about Indonesian products, learn more about Indonesian businesses, but the embassy at the same time also will try to show the Cambodians this is Jakarta, these are potential areas of cooperation, not only in trade, but also in investment. So um, the hope is that by the end of the week, we will have more than, I think the wording is more than 30,000 uh, um, people, uh, buyers that will be be here. At the moment, yeah, the, 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 the prediction will be 30,000 buyers from outside of Indonesia here. Outside of Indonesia? Outside of Indonesia and inside oh, of Indonesia, Indonesia as well, also. yeah. Okay.